Now, speaking of damage control, Chinese authorities are distancing themselves from controversial comments made by its ambassador to France, Lu Xiaoye, in an interview on Friday, in which he appeared to question, the quote, the sovereignty of former Soviet republics, some of which are now full-fledged members of the European Union and NATO. Today, China, through a spokeswoman, said it does respect the sovereignty of these nations following the collapse of the Soviet Union and insisted there had been no policy change in that regard, indicating perhaps these are one of comments by Mr. Liu which he should not have made in the first place, and that is the closest you will get to an apology from China. Now, some argue, however, the damage has been done to the country's reputation as a potential mediator in the war in Ukraine, suggesting that China is not as neutral as it wants to present itself on the global stage.